Okay, today's video is an unboxing of the Classic Accessories Cumberland Float Tube. And we're going to verse that against a favorite float tube of mine that I've used for years. Uh, it's like a rooster. It's the cock of the walk as far as I'm concerned. But we're going to give this one a try this year too. This will be part one of part two. First video. I'll unbox it, fill it up, show it to you. There's one side. I'm not too happy about how that nozzle sits in there. <clears throat> it shouldn't hurt anything. It's a little annoying is all. The problem I was having, and still having actually, are the valves not lining up. They just need twisted. This one, I did manage to get right on. Okay, so I'm gonna reset the camera, put the stripping apron on. They went in there quite nice. Now I'm keeping the angles this way along with the float tube. Well, there's low curl on this one to attach to the sides of your storage area. I'd rather be straps from there to there. It's kind of bungee. It's okay. So besides the backpack straps, which I haven't put on yet, okay. So my first impressions seems pretty good. Um, as compared to the White River float tube, which I'm gonna. I'm gonna pop up next and show you that. This has a seat, that one doesn't. It's just a nylon seat. This is a padded seat, pretty thick, with a padded backrest that could be adjusted. So if you wanna take a nap in your float tube, you can adjust that all the way back. 
Back here is a mesh area where you can store things. Of course, it's going to get wet. And they have a drawstring mesh in the back here, which will also get wet if you put anything in there. Now, the compartment bags, they look bulletproof, actually. Um, they have some kind of seam tape on them uh, to keep the contents dry. Pull handle. Plenty of room for my box. Beer. Of course, the two cup holders for beers. The spreader bar is not metal, like the White River float tube, which I'll talk about that too when I get that one up. But I do see the Velcro eventually failing on this. After a while, it's just going to be hard to keep that on. I'll have to pick something up. Uh, you got pole holders on this side and that side, which is pretty neat. The White River float tube has a pole holder that runs across, so that's kind of different. So same setup on this side, and we got the backpack straps. On. Now this has a number. Also, I'm assuming it's a serial number. I have no idea. Might take that out, put something else in there. Bottom seems pretty durable, has the bottom covering on it. Let's tell the difference. It looks pretty heavy duty. There's drain holes in the seat. Back. And I'll go Overall, I like it. But I have another float tube that I like a lot more. And I'm going to do that one right now. All right, this is my favorite float tube of all time. I have another one, just like it right there, and I put that through hell, and it finally gave in on me. For two years, I had to hand pump it while in it. Air bladder for the top, next level air bladder, one solid air bladder, U-shaped for the entire tube. And this stuff is tough. I mean, it's super tough. One of the reasons why I like it. Spreader bar. Uh, the spreader bar that comes with this White River float tube is a metal bar. Actually, it's not. This one isn't metal. My prior one is a metal one, and it actually bent. I used it so much it bowed in the front of the stripping apron. So that's new, and I'll keep it. And then we got the shelf, got a covering. I bought this used off of eBay for $75, I believe. Well worth it. We only used it a weekend. Looks practically new. And I'll show you why. So you can see that. That's the original colors of the White River. That's barely used. And this is what happens to a white river that's used a lot. Fading, I just pulled this out of a garage actually. Um, there's the liner there. But I use this, this is my favorite flow too. This has orange on the back, which is used to. Sun faded, so I was in it so much. I got this one off Craigslist for $25, and I think I got seven years out of it. That's steady, hard fishing. So any of these D-rings and buckles I'm gonna keep if I ever need them to replace on this. So I'm gonna get the bladders in this. I'll put it where you might see this one. Okay, I have the Moss Lake. 
white river float tube together. It has three tubes here, here, and a U-shaped tube. This is what I think the Cumberland needs. So I may have to rig up these little things to keep the stripping apron on. It also has Velcro there. Two zipper pockets, rod holder. Um, this is actually PVC in here as well. Uh, my first float tube with White River had a metal one, and like I said, it bent. But this is a great float tube. Uh, to carry it around, you have a, a loop here, and I would always just clean it over my back. This is a great float. A great one. I got it as a backup for my Cumberland because I wanted something to ride it a little higher. And it's supposed to track better in the water. We will see. Not to mention the two beer holders. But this is a great float tube. Um, like I said, it has the vinyl type seat. And you sit way in the water. So. It would come up to my waist, maybe a little deeper in water, and that's not good. But I dealt with it. My old one just had more scrapes and a fisherman's knuckle on it. It finally gave in on me. This piece here, this tube here, and here. I, I didn't even use this in my last one. I won't use it in this one. I used it to carry, hold on. I just noticed this. My old one, so this top tube is there. I would keep things in here. My pump, because I had to pump it up about every 10 15 minutes because of all the holes and a patch kit. So I won't use that. I'll put other things in there, shirts and whatever. I've even had beer in there before. That I'll keep this old one for parts. And I'll probably let uh, my family use this one when we go out. Now I have flippers, and I'll show those to you in a second. That came with the White River, the old one. This one you can get as a kit. It actually comes with the pump and the flippers. But I just needed this because I had the other stuff. But I have that cushion seat it's high, riding high on the tube. It should keep me out of the water. Or most of me anyway. We'll find out tomorrow. Because there will be a part two on this. And I'm going to work this one like crazy. Until I know whether I like it or not. Then I always have the backup. The Mac Daddy White River Flute. Alright. Oh, I'll get the flippers. Okay, here are the flippers. I'm not sure if these come with, well they came with my White River float tube when I got it off of Craigslist. They are outcast, uh, simple slides your shoe over. I don't wear waders in my float tube, I never have, and I never will, even if the water's cold. I don't know why. Usually just a pair of tennis shoes. Ratchet these down, a lot of power, kind of slow, because you got when you're paddling forward or backwards, you're also pushing against the water. So you're kind of, it's kind of slow in these. They're so rigid and stiff, but they, uh, they're, they're tanks and they will last forever. Or they should anyway. So I'll use those with the new float tube. And I like it. I like the look of it. It's a lot larger than the White River. But you're also you're riding higher and you got what looks like a, a four inch, five inch seat cushion. So that's interesting. And the adjustable backrest is kind of cool. And old float tube, I'll keep the parts. I did have another one I bought off of eBay. When this one went down, it was a Caddis, the worst float tube I've ever bought. And I don't recommend anyone buying a Caddis. They were terrible. I think it popped the second time I used it. And I was super careful with it. So 
Okay, so part two of the video is going to happen tomorrow or the next day, and I will go float tubing. And this one here in the Cumberland, and then I'll give you a review and I'll do a video of me fishing in it. So stick around for part two. Thanks for watching. Thank you.